This right here is the GTEC 180R, Planet Eclipse's newest mid-range paintball gun. And for $1,200, you wanna know the question of, is this the best paintball marker on the market? Okay, so I thought what better way to put this mark to the test than putting it through a full day of paintball at a tournament. So we're out here at the CPXL to test this gun out. And at the end of this video, you're gonna know this paintball gun is worth that price tag. Planet Eclipse is the premier manufacturer of paintball guns. You can call them like the Mercedes Benz of paintball gun manufacturers. And with me getting their newest marker, the 180R in my hands, finally, it was time to take this new whip for its first drive. Okay, so I showed you my first time using the gun, but it's not my very first experience with the gun. That came from unboxing it. This is how you're gonna get the gun brand new. Coming out of the box is the newest Planet Eclipse case, and then whenever you open it, this is basically what you're gonna be seeing. So a little Allen key set you'll get. But, uh, you also get an extra parts kit, as well as a barrel cover, um, some lube to uh, use on your mom. And Daddy, chill. The next thing that we're, that we're looking at here, the SL63, which comes with some of the newest Planet Eclipse guns, but, this one is a little bit different because it has an aluminum back and tip. You kind of just insert it in like this and then you'll screw it on the tip. And so what this does is it allows you to bore match your paint so that you can shoot with more air efficiency and be a little bit more accurate downfield. The gun comes with everything you would expect from Planet Eclipse. Now, the real question is, can it perform consistently throughout the entire tournament? Okay, so obviously at this point, the 180R is performing great, but what makes it stand out? Okay, so one of the biggest features is this core right here. This is the OPR core on this new bolt system, and this has a very low operating pressure, which allows for more air efficiency and also less recoil and a quieter shot. Also, it's got the uh, quick strip grips right here. Just like that, you can slide it off and replace your battery, which it takes a nine volt, which is a downside. After that, it comes with the SL63 barrel system, which allows you to pour match your paint, which is great, so you can have better air efficiency and have more accurate paintballs downfield. The other thing is the OLED board, 
um, here. This is a one button OLED board, so it does not have the three buttons like the Planet Eclipse CS3, which is a downfall, but with that OLED board, you can see everything so much easier, and uh, it makes for easier operating whenever it might get a little bit dark, or if it's too bright, and you can't really see because of the glare. After that, one of the biggest selling points for the 170R was the mechanical conversion, so you could turn this electric marker into a mechanical marker and go out and play mechanical tournaments like Tin Man's. Well, the good news is that the 180R is also getting a mechanical conversion kit, so that is coming soon. And that conversion kit will also come with the three-way valve, which will allow you to shoot a lot faster. Some of the last things to note for positives is that this actually is lighter than the CS3. So the 180R weighs in at 862 grams, whereas the CS3 weighs in at 876 grams. So not that big of a difference, but it is lighter. With three wins under our belt already in the tournament, we had to win the last match to guarantee us a bye into the playoffs. Going undefeated in the prelims is good, and so is this marker, but everything isn't perfect, so what's not so great about this gun? It is the most expensive mid-range marker on the market right now, but saying that it comes from Planet Eclipse, which has the best reputation when it comes for paintball guns. Some of the other things to note is that there is not toolless back grips, so you cannot just take these off really easily. You have to have a Allen key to get them off. It does take that 9-volt battery, which I talked about. I'm not the biggest fan of 9-volts. Uh, it's a lot easier to carry around double A's, and they're more accessible, and I feel like if somebody keeps a 9 volt on them they're either a boy scout or a serial killer so also the length is actually shorter than the cs3 so if you don't like something that's a little bit tight the cs3 is just a little bit longer it's also skinnier than the cs3 so the pitch is a little bit tighter here so it does feel a little bit smaller in your hands okay so with the negatives out of the way let's talk about something a bit more positive with us getting into the playoffs we went straight into the quarterfinals where we'd have to play one of our hardest matches of the day Two for sure. Hey, 23. Hey, our stake, our stake, our 30. Our 30 loop. Switch, switch. Wrap, wrap. Unfortunately, I wasn't fast enough to make it to the buzzer in time before the other team, making it a tied match. And with it being tied, that meant the next person to win a point won the match.
And with that win, we won the match and pushed our way into the semifinals. And the 180R not only was holding up at this point, but was excelling. And the even cooler thing is, if you want to get some custom colors that nobody else can get anywhere, go to longwolfpaintball.com because they have a ton of options for colors and choices over there. We got matched up against the Razorbacks in the semifinals, and it was unfortunate for them because at this point in the tournament, we had caught fire. <laughs> We beat the Razorbacks 3-1 to one, pushed our way into the finals where I was to play against some very familiar faces. Clutch Purple was our final match and with this being my old team, I wanted this win bad. But the real question was, were they going to give it to me? And with that final buzzer, we managed to finish second in the tournament. But you right now are not watching this video to see how I did in this tournament. You want to know how the 180R performs. Okay guys, so you want to know if the 180R is worth the price tag. And I'm going to say for $1,200, this thing works great. But if you want to see me put it up against something that's even better, check out this video right here, the CS3. Guys, big shout out to all my channel members. If you want to see any of this raw footage, you can become a channel member for $2 a month to get in. And that is all for me, Matt and Jennifer. I'll catch y'all later.